my clean clothes, I put it over the uh, chair, and I didn't hang it back in the closet until the next day. So he must have been in hideout in my clean clothes. And this is right here where I found Harold. Well, he survived four long flights from South Africa to Canada, and I thought I'll give the little critter a fighting chance. As much as Arna loves her newfound friend, he won't be staying here. She hopes to find him a permanent home where the public can meet him too. My name's Holly Wright. My boyfriend and I found a four foot long boa constrictor in my couch. And it looks pretty, I mean, it's pretty big. It just kind of popped its head out and its head and the front part of its coils were laying on the floor. <sighs> so we flipped the couch over. The snake's head was emerging from about this corner of the couch and was on the floor. It was uh, very lethargic. We removed it with the coat hanger. It was very calm. The snake was very sick. I think it came out of the couch because it was dying. We don't know what kind of snake it is for sure. The couch was on the street. It was free. We checked the couch for obvious signs of damage or odor or staining and it seemed to be fine. I put it in my bedroom and stay. Sometimes my dog would sleep up there. Uh, I would sit and check email, have a cup of coffee. I read a couple novels on this couch. It was just such an incredible being that shouldn't have been in a couch. I came downstairs thinking somebody might be in my house. I went to go open the door and the bears, I guess behind, was pressed against the glass. So he bust through and he came to this can where he thought, I guess, a turkey was in there. He stood up on his hind legs. When he stood up on his hind legs, he was as tall as me. This one is a lot bigger than all the rest of them, so I think this is the biggest one I've seen. I mean, the bear was just being a bear at the end of the day. If you have food out, they're going to find it. So you got to coexist a little bit, even though it might get a little rough sometimes, you know.